Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottled Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Are we almost there, David? Just about. Excited? Of course, terribly. Fritz and Bertha thought the house sounded wonderful. Will Roger be there? He's probably waiting for us now. Oh. We're a little off schedule. Will anybody else be there? Mr. Tucker, of course. Will you see him? He's a lollipop loser of an old codger. <laughs> I think he must be at least a hundred. A hundred? Well, maybe ninety. Ninety's old enough. You don't have to exaggerate. <laughs> Is he really ninety? Well, maybe eighty then. Oh, I'll probably find he's thirty-eight and looks like twenty. You'll find nothing of the sort. You'll find an old New Englander with one tooth in his head who's as gnarled as the bramliest bush on his place and as stubborn as the biggest oak. When you meet Mr. Tucker, you'll know how this country managed to get settled. He's quite a guy. I don't see how a man like that could own a beautiful house with a brook and meadows and barns and things. No, he owns it all right. Has for generations. All his. Oh, I wish we were there. I wish we were there. You're really pleased about this, aren't you? Pleased? I'm busting. Darling, are you really serious about wanting to move to Eastbrook or... Are you just curious about seeing this house? Well, I... Oh, it's all right. I know. You're just curious. But once you see the place, you'll get just the way I am. I, I hope so. It, it must be a beautiful house, darling, with tall trees and old stairways. How big is it? Mm, big as you want it to be, and every inch authentic. This is almost as exciting as having a baby. <laughs> Except a baby takes months and months and a house takes just a few minutes. Which side will it be on? This side. What do you think of the country around here? Fine. It's sort of wild, though. Nobody else seems to be living in the neighborhood. Of course not. It's farmland. Oh. <gasps> David, look at the cow. That's not a cow. It's a bull. How can you tell? <laughs> just try milking her. Oh. What's the matter? We running out of gas? <laughs> you goop, we're here. Is this it? It is, and there's Roger. Hey, Roger! Hello, David! About time you got here. How do you like the way it looks today? Marvelous. And we weren't wrong, Roger. I wouldn't touch that entrance. It's a crime to even paint it. Be right with you. Just want to look at these eaves here a minute. Claudia, close your mouth, darling. You look like a guppy fish. I do. Well, what do you think of it? Is it the way you pictured it? Well, not exactly. No? I thought it would set farther back from the road. All old houses are close to the road, darling. Is that good or bad? Good. You'd have to be plowed out in a snowstorm if you weren't near the road. David, it's awfully shrubby here, isn't it? There isn't any lawn at all. Of course not. It's the best kind of farmland. Oh, House looks littler than I thought. Well, it's deceptive from this view. Well, do you want to go inside or look around outside? I, I, I just want to stand here and look at it. Do you mind, David? Mind? I should say not. The first time I saw it, it, it took my breath away, too. You stand here and look at it as long as you like. Thank you. I'll be inside with Roger. Say you better let Bluff out of the car. That dog's so darn quiet, I keep forgetting him, except when he knocks me down. See you later, darling. Hey, Roger. Come on, Bluff, out you get. Hello there, Bluff. Well, what do you think? It's like an old matchbox to me with windows and a roof, doesn't it? I wouldn't live in a house like that if it were raining out. Would you? Oh, I... Morning there, ma'am. Oh, good morning. Marn the house, eh? Well, uh, not exactly. I, I, I sure do hate to sell it. Matter of fact, I've been ruminating it in my mind 
not the salary. Oh, then you're Mr. Tucker. Jared Tucker, ma'am, at the service. I'm yep. Mrs. Norton. Hello. Uh, your husband there sure took a shine to my old place. <laughs> His eyes lit up real bright when he seen it. <laughs> he knows a piece of property when he stumbles onto it. He does. Yes, My sir. husband is an architect. Uh, this house was built. There wasn't no architects necessary. It just got itself built. So I see. Uh, I'd be living in it still if it wasn't for my sister. But, oh, Delilah's getting on. She ain't the chicken she used to be. No, no. And she sort of wants me around to take care of things for her. I yep. can understand that. Yep, she, uh, she, uh, she turned 65 last Monday. Lame in one leg and little deep in one ear. Here perfectly himself. Been here in perfect for 77 years now. 77. No, no, don't aim to stop. Yep. 77? I thought you said Delilah was getting on. What's that you say? I said... Speak up, young woman. Stop whispering. I said you looked wonderful for 77. Oh, oh, yes, feeling wonderful. That uh, kind of irks Delilah, so I got to watch out for her. But I, I sure do hate the idea of sharing a house with a woman after all these years. Uh, women just don't understand us fellas, even though she be my sister. I uh, kind of think if I'd kept this here place, I wouldn't mind it so much. Uh, d d give me a roof of my own, you know. Some place to get away to when Delilah starts wearing thin. Then, Mr. Tucker, you shouldn't sell it. I don't think you should sell it at all. A man should have a place of his own, especially when he's as full of energy as you are. Well, I could use money, and I don't see how I can keep up both farms. Things, uh, things, uh, things, uh, being as are these days. And Delilah, she keeps nagging me, nagging me to sell. So I put up the sign. Plum out of the blue comes your husband. Uh, here we are. But I ain't sold it yet. Thank goodness. I really think you ought to think it over carefully, Mr. Tucker. And don't let Delilah talk you into something. No. Nope. People do try to talk other people into things. Yep. I'm sure there are other houses around my husband would like. Yep, I, uh, I, uh, I uh, showed him one. You did? The Leach Place, little ways down the road, nine miles. Did he like it? That's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big white house up on the hill. About as old as mine here, but not the same type at all. A city folks' house. Uh, with a, with a, a long drive? Yep. And old trees? Yep. And a beautiful staircase and, and doors? Yep. And with a brook and a hill? Yep. That sounds more like it. That sounds like my kind of a house. It's got all kinds of fancy plumbing into it. Waste of good money, wait. I wonder if my I... My house got a spring and a well. You don't need nothing else. Just, 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 just complicates things. Tell me, Mr. Tucker, did my husband like the other house, the leech place? Well, yep, no. No, I think I understand everything. Well, young woman, I think I'll shinny along and see what your husband has to say. Uh, mind you now, I, I ain't said I'm going to sell. Of course not. Uh, man's got a right to his home. Delilah or no Delilah. Women think they can make a man slow up. Just because they're starting to feel the cold in their bones, but no, sir. Oh, bluff, you beautiful dog. I'm such a goop. This isn't the house at all. David and Roger are playing a joke on me because they think I don't know anything about old houses. And they expect me to be disappointed. Well, it's simple. I'll rave about this old rickety shack. And when they take me to see the real house, I'll pretend not to like it. That'll fool them. They think they're so smart. Well, I'll outsmart them this time. Claudia, Claudia, better come inside out of the cold. I'm coming, darling. I just couldn't take my eyes off our darling house. Well, you see the inside. It smells a little stale, but that'll pass off. Now, tell me, darling, do you really like it? I just caught my breath. Were you surprised? Surprised for a moment then when I came to my senses, I was paralyzed. Well, that's the way I like to hear you talk. <laughs> You look so excited and pleased. I am. I'm thrilled. I can't tell you what fun I'm having. Let's go in. Oh, the floor's squeaky. Oh, I love it. Such wonderful low ceilings, David. It's built that way because it uh, helps keep the rooms warm. And, 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 and look at those beautiful worn spots in the floor planks. They have such personality. And the fireplace. <laughs> David, it's almost as nice as the one in our apartment. It's nicer. I prefer it just the way my forefather had it. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. 
Well, I, I must say that you... Su- oh, David, that delightful old stairway. So much more charm than the big circular one down south. Do you like it better? It's not the same thing at all. Well, houses like that have their place, too. That gorgeous old latch. Must be original. It is. It dates back from before the house was built. A veritable museum piece. Well, darling, I... I didn't know you had it in you. Did you imagine I was an utter imbecile? Do you know? I think he did. (laughs) Oh, Roger, hello. Hello. Claudia, I'll confess that David warned me that you didn't know the first thing about old houses. Well, what I mean is... So that's what... (laughs) That's all right, darling. It's just as well for you to learn that you don't know everything I know. She really seems to like it, Roger. I've never been so thrilled in my whole life. Hurry and show me upstairs. Oh, there isn't much upstairs. Now, here. Here, notice the floors. Isn't that nice? I have. They almost broke my neck. Well, they do need a little repairing, but they are perfectly beautiful. And here, 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 look over here now. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some of the paneling up here. That's the original color. We have a client who'd pay $1,000 for that strip just as it is. I wouldn't sell it, not for all the money in the world. (laughs) Hey, watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh! The ceiling fell down. Oh, that's nothing. They always do in old houses. But won't we have to pay somebody for it? Oh, pay for it? Who should we pay? It belongs to us. At, at least it will. It will? Well, you're going to buy the place, aren't you? Buy it? This place? Darling, all I needed was for you to love it as much as I do. But, but I, I thought there was another house. There's that... no other house in the whole world for us now, is there? But Mr. Tucker said... That old that... boy, he's a better salesman than he knows. Then you... You're serious about it? I certainly am. All I needed was the word from you. Just like you, darling. I wouldn't sell this house for all the money in the world. What world? I knew you'd love it once you saw it. Me? Hold on, you have to buy it first. Oh, it's as good as both. David! What do you... What's the matter? You're as, you're as white as a ghost. Shock. Yes, shock. I don't wonder. A lot of people don't like ceilings falling down on them. Well, Claudia's not the sort of person who minds ceilings falling down on them. Darling, are, are you sick? Well, I, I feel a Take little... her down to the car, David. She does look a little pale. Uh, don't worry, darling. Dr. Rowland said you'd feel like this sometime. Dr. Rowland thinks I'm only going to have a new baby. He doesn't know I'm going to have an old house, too. <laughs> These programs star Catherine Bard as Claudia and Paul Crabtree as David. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Does it ever occur to you to offer your household helper ice-cold Coke during the day's work? A frosty, inviting bottle of Coca-Cola establishes goodwill, whether it's offered to worker or guest, you know. And now that there's enough to go around, you can buy it by the case. With plenty of Coke in the refrigerator, you can extend hospitality as it should be dispensed, whenever the spirit moves you. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. (laughs) 